Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Miriam Salam. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between Canada and the UK. Which one should you pick? Which one should you go? And this is coming from someone that grew up in Europe and live in Europe. Let's say you're from France, from Italy, from Germany, even in the UK, and you want to look at uh, your options like should I stay in the UK or moving to Canada is an opportunity I can pursue maybe this video can give you insights and impact your decision making so first I'm gonna start with Canada the first point I would say is in terms of immigrating and immigration programs I think Canada has that on lockdown there are so many immigration uh, programs set for people from different backgrounds to be able to move into the country legally. Remember, legally. So I think that's great and that's why you yeah, like Canada is trending because everybody is moving to Canada compared to obviously the second country. Secondly, I'll say in terms of long term uh planning. So if you're not just looking to move to Canada to um study and go back to your country or move and go back to your country if you're looking at long term like settling in canada i think that's it canada is a good place because the pr processes are quite straightforward if you're looking at long-term planning for yourself for yourself and your spouse for your family canada is definitely the place to move to thirdly again long term when it comes to becoming a citizen of a country i think canada has that like at the top. Canada is definitely the place if you want to become a citizen. I was really shocked that you can become a citizen of Canada um, after having a PR and having stayed for three years. Like three years, like one, two, three, you can become a citizen. I was so shocked because I don't think I've seen any country in Europe that has that short term process to become a citizen of a country. So yeah, definitely if you think oh, I want to move abroad, I want to be able to work and legally stay there and vote and all of that and just be part of the country and become a citizen and have another passport from another international country, definitely go for Canada because in three years, you can literally have another passport to your original passport. Fourthly, I'm going to say Canada has so many job opportunities. Um, in my previous video, I've mentioned that many people living in Canada actually work with companies based in the US. So, like, you don't just have the opportunities based in Canada in terms of, like, company and application for jobs. You actually also have, like, opportunities to be able to live in Canada but work with a company in the US. Finally, for the fifth point, although, personally, I feel like the cost of living is a bit high in Canada. However, because remember I said there's so many opportunities, they pay well. So it's kind of like I but affordable. Yeah? So cost of living is I compared to the UK. However, it's affordable because you're earning the money so you can afford it. And just extra point when it comes to in terms of living, yeah, you have bigger houses, you have big cars, like the lifestyle is big and large. So if you're earning to live that lifestyle and you want to live that lifestyle, definitely Canada is a place for you. If you live in Ontario, uh, you pay 13% tax. That's quite high. But you earn enough to be able to pay that. So yeah, I would say definitely um, if you're looking to live your lifestyle like you see on the TV, like living large, definitely Canada is a place for you the pros of living or moving to the uk so uk firstly when you're moving as a student it's quite easy straightforward you give all your requirements for your study background and you have your tuition fee and most of the time it goes smoothly so i would say if you're immigrating to um the uk as a student that's quite straightforward and easy. Another thing I would say the UK is good for is it's easy to build a community, especially if you're from Ghana, from Nigeria. There are lots of Ghanaians in the UK, there are lots of Nigerians in the UK. You will quickly find your own people and quickly have friends. At least in your class, you won't be the only black person. You won't be the only Nigerian person. In fact, you can find someone that comes from your local government in the UK. So I think in terms of building a community and meeting people, it's easy compared to Canada. Thirdly, 
this might not sound like a big deal but after moving here from the uk i know it's a big deal living in the uk you're closer to home and when i mean home you're closer to nigeria or even me that i grew up in france i'm closer to france from the uk to france is on flight is like 40 minutes so it's very close compared to me living now um in canada and i have to fly eight hours just to go and see my family so i would say that's one big advantage of living in the uk you're close to home wherever you call home that is europe or africa compared to when you live in canada fourthly i'm gonna say uk is a bit cheaper to live in the uk um, i would say the cost of living is quite cheap i mean if you're not living in london that is extremely expensive uh, if you're living in um the Midlands or whatever outside London is a bit cheaper. However, I would say the houses are small. Like, yes, you'll find one bedroom in Birmingham that is cheaper, but your one bedroom can just be the size of this room alone. And they will cut out the kitchen, they will cut out the bedroom, they will cut out the living room in a small space. So, yes, it's a bit cheaper, but the houses are a bit small and everything is just very very small even the cars in Europe and the UK they're quite small compared to uh, Canada or America everything is big and large so yeah I would say yes the cost of living is small but that means your lifestyle is kind of like a bit small as well lastly I'm gonna say moving to the UK gives you opportunity to explore other countries I mean lots of other countries if you move to the UK you can easily apply for the Schengen visa and you have other countries to go to France Luxembourg Sweden all of that stuff and literally you can find a ticket for nine pounds I've taken a ticket to Germany for two pounds before because Ryanair was doing promo for 99p for the flights and the ad tax and it was like 2.99 or something like that so yeah i think those opportunities i really 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 miss it now now i tell myself i should have taken advantage of that more i should have traveled more when we could still travel freely and just explore other countries even though i know i was going to eventually going to move to canada but it wasn't something that i thought about doing like exploring all these countries more uh, before moving here because now i live in canada Boy, even within Canada, you spend six hours on flight to go to Vancouver. So, um, yeah, six hours. That's a flight from London to Lagos. Six hours. Everywhere you're going is far. You can't just jump on the flight and go. And the flights are not cheap. It's not like Ryanair where you pay £16 for a flight and you go to wherever you're going. No, it's quite expensive. So I said that's another advantage of living in the UK. You kind of like stay in a place where it is uh, close to everywhere and moving around, traveling around is quite. So I think that's everything I, I want to say when it comes to living in Canada and living in the UK. If I have to pick, I've lived in the UK for eight years, maybe I should wait <laughs> to live in um, Canada for eight years as well before like comparing to peak. Even like so far, I'm not gonna lie, I can make a decision. If I have to pick, I will still pick Canada. I will still pick moving here and living here. In fact, I wished I moved here earlier just so maybe I would have settled down like fully and like be able to tell you guys more. But um, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this journey and just sharing my experience with you guys for anyone that wants to move. So to summarize everything, I would say UK is good for short term goals like if your goal is to move out and out of the country short term like you're like oh maybe i'll go back to my country or i just want to see how it goes and i'll decide and know if this europe is for me and da, 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 da. i think the uk is good and it will probably cost you less i'm not sure but the process will be uh shorter and easier for you but if you're thinking of long term then canada is a place like if you're thinking of okay you know what i want to move abroad either alone or with my partner and i want to get married here i want to settle here i want to have my kids here and all of that and make sure everybody is fine legally everybody is settled then canada is the place so that's up to you like you can think okay short term i just want to come and do my study and go back to my country then go to the uk because that this process is shorter 
but if you're thinking long term like i said then move to canada thank you guys for watching this video if you really enjoyed the video please make sure you thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please don't forget to leave a comment down below let me know what you think about this video let me know what you want to see more if you have any question please make sure you leave that in the comment section below and i will get back to you thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys